Girlies, I'm going to see Craig David today. I am so gassed. I am ready to get down and dirty with Craig David. Okay, Craig Davey. Ready to listen to like the old school bangers and the new shit, like seven days, fill me in. Oh, oh, oh. Honestly, I would let that man fill me in. Is that appropriate? <laughs> Jake bought me tickets for my birthday to go see him. I'm so excited. Listen, if you know me, you know how much I love Craig David. And I actually find it bizarre that I've not been to see him at this point, to be honest, because this man is like, I was gonna say my guilty pleasure, but like I'm open, openly expressive <laughs> about the fact that I love this man. I love him, I love his music. Growing up with his music, I don't know, it just gives me good vibes. So we're heading to London, we're going to the O2. It is currently 12.53, I need to be ready by four. We're gonna head down there, have a few drinkies and then watch him do his thing. So I thought I'd do my makeup, even my hair, I'm freshly washed out the shower. Maybe even pick an outfit together, that could be kind of fun, right? Maybe I'll take you into the wardrobe and we can kind of decide what's going on. So I actually don't know what I'm gonna wear today. So I think I'm gonna go more like neutral colored with the makeup. I was gonna do something fun and colorful, but I do have these cool glitters and maybe I'll do some gems and cut gems, you know, I don't know. We'll just roll with it and see what's happening. Um, so obviously I've already done my brows. I think I'm just gonna go straight in and do skin. So we're gonna start by priming. Guys, I picked up the new collection finish, no, filter finish, gorgeous glow, basically the Charlotte Tilbury dupe. Is this my shade? Absolutely not, okay? Don't. Don't come for me, okay? I know. <laughs> I'm hoping though this is gonna be like the CT one where it kind of just buffs out the color and gives you that nice sort of glow. I don't have the Charlotte Tilbury one to completely compare, but I've roughly seen it, felt it, like I kind of know what to expect, right? So this is medium three. I probably need the one above, which I think is light medium, but let's just give this a go. Well, we're off to a good start. <laughs> It'll be fine. Makeup, you have to trust the process. Imagine if this is a dupe though. Like this is gonna be what, like a quarter of the price? Maybe even cheaper, I'm not sure, but. Mm. Oh, wow. Do you know what, in a weird way, I'm actually pretty happy with that color. Do you see how it just completely buffs out onto the skin? Look at the glow. It's almost like a glass finish, isn't it? That is beautiful. Feels super, super lightweight as well. It's like a mini makeup review right now. So easy to blend into the skin. This almost reminds me of the product that I would use on my skin without makeup. Almost similar to my Iconic Radiance Booster, to be completely honest with you. There was only four shades, but to be honest, I feel like one shade will be quite universal for like a category. Does that make sense? I mean, you saw how that color just blended out and now it is matching me. I'm pretty happy with that color. I'm actually glad I didn't go lighter, to be honest. You like glowy skin, you're into that type of prep or just like that appearance. I think you're gonna love this, guys. This is a good little product. Okay, collection with your Charlotte Tilby dupes. All right, <laughs> calm down. I'm now gonna take my 17 Photo Filter Balm Primer. Since I used this in my last video, guys, honestly, I've been loving this. I feel like it's so nice on the skin. It just smooths and fills in my skin really, really nicely. Especially in the center here, you know, when you've got pores that are really visible, I'm like, bye babes, you need to go. I feel like this does a really, really good job. Foundation, what should I do? The thing is, I want my makeup to last, right? I'm probably gonna get sweaty. Feeling like I should go for something a little bit more matte today so we keep the skin looking as clean and, and as fresh for as long as possible, right? Part of me is thinking, should I use my Be Perfect Chroma Cover? I don't think I've used this on camera before. Beautiful foundation. This is another like newer foundation that I've been absolutely loving, but also my Makeup Revolution IRL filter foundation staring at me. Charlotte Tilbs is staring at me. My NARS, oh God, I don't know. You know what? I think I'm gonna mix my Be Perfect Chroma Cover. This is in N5. I think I might mix it with my Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Airbrush. Airbrush Flawless, sorry. <laughs> close enough. This is in shade six neutral. And then I'm also gonna take a little bit of my Urban Decay All Nighter, spritz some in. So I've got the foundation just like on the back here. Mix that together. And then babes, this ain't going anywhere, right? I can shake my ass and I yats. <laughs> Be Perfect, I love the coverage, right? It's beautiful, it sits beautifully on the skin. And then the Charlotte Tilbury one, I feel like it's gonna give it that extra hold. Cause sometimes the Be Perfect, I find that I need to like powder sooner than some other foundations I have. I don't mind, I just feel like sometimes my oils appear a little bit quicker than other ones, which is fine, it happens. I have oily skin, like what, what do I expect, you know? Where's my marshmallow sponge? by Coco Cosmetics by Chloe. Even spray the sponge. I'm not playing around guys, right? I'm not playing around. Anyway, how are you all? Is anybody else going to see Craig David? Let me know. I know when I went on TikTok live the other day, a bunch of you were saying that you were going. I'm ready to party with like the mums and the dads. Like, I love that. <laughs> I'm here for that type of energy, honestly. And Craig David music always puts me in a good mood. Do you know what I was doing in the week though? I was like going back and like replaying some of Craig David's old songs, like remind myself. 
Does anybody else do that? Just me? Probably. Especially some of the throwback songs. Like I had to like remember his tunes because when you go to a concert, they tend to play like obviously the popular ones, but also the kind of random sort of more not as known songs. So I was going on like Spotify and kind of playing a Craig David radio, taking it very seriously as we can tell. <laughs> Guys, how beautiful is this foundation by the way? I feel like that collection is really like seeping through. Normally my skin doesn't look this glowy with these products. I mean, I'm kind of loving that to be honest. I feel like it's made it look super, super fresh, but you've got the full coverage. I mean, I didn't even pre-conceal with my NARS concealer and you can see I'm completely covered and I had a few breakouts as well where I've been on my period on oh, speaking of my period guys oh my god we're all friends here my period has been on one right I don't know how I'm still breathing at this point I've lost that much blood honestly girls like I'm not joking I'm talking every single time I go to the toilet yeah it's it's CSI like I'm waiting for the whole fucking crew like the team to come in it's just intense it's so annoying as well because I just feel like I'm constantly like changing just constantly trying to like sort myself out do you know what I mean like I'm bleeding through everything not even joking guys honestly I know that sounds real dramatic but that's just the reality of the situation by the way I'm using the HMB cosmetic soft focus airbrush concealer this is in SF2W and then I'm gonna go in with a bit of zero underneath the eye to brighten as always I feel like you guys know the drill by now this is gonna look crazy but if you love that bright under eye I'm telling you this is the best thing to do you do this you go in with a lighter powder and I promise you chef's kiss you're gonna have the bestest brightest under eye um actually do you know what before i blend this out i want to try that little tiktok trend people have been putting in either like a blush or like a p louise pink base into their concealer to get that pink under eye because obviously pink equals brightening in the makeup world the p louise base in the shade winter rose i love this as a blush i probably should have mixed this in with the concealer but we can just grab a brush not sure how much i need to put in but maybe if we just tap a little bit over the top i don't want to go too crazy and make my under eye literally like Ugh. take a brush let's try this i hope i like this you know i feel like i will because i actually do like pink tones in my makeup these days which is kind of crazy because i used to absolutely despise them i feel like we all did though anyways my sponge just to kind of buff that edge what do we think i don't know if you can tell on camera but in real life i can definitely see the pink hue very very subtle very very soft but i guess that's the whole point of it right sorry that rattling of my ring is even pissing me off <laughs> guys call me crazy but part of me wants to try a new bronzer i picked up the elf party bronzer look at me by the way trying new products as i'm actually going somewhere I live right on the edge. I'm not even too sure what shade this is. Bronze, bronze at all? Is that the shade? In a weird way though, I feel like I'm committing a crime if I don't use my Primark one, because this is just my safe zone. But that, no, you know what? I'm just gonna use Primark, guys. I'll use that in another video. <laughs> she isn't going anywhere. She can wait. I just feel like, you know, this is just the easiest for me right now. On the nose. I am intrigued by that product though because I do like the putty blush. I went to Superdrug the other day to buy some bits for filming some like content I've got coming up, right? And I saw it and I was like, you know what? I kind of want to try something new. As much as I say all the time, you know, why fix something that isn't broke? I always use this Primark one, but I feel like I do makeup like for a job and I don't want you guys to get bored of me using the same product. And I know sometimes you guys can't get your hand on that Primark one and I know it's probably quite annoying watching me use it all the time. So we will try some new things, I promise, but we need to keep it safe today. This face has to go in public. Like human beings have to see it and I don't want to look crazy. Grabbing a couple of clips just to tie back this hair because it's starting to piss me off a little bit, I won't lie. It's better, right. Let me grab a smaller brush if I can find one to blend out this nose contour. I just wanna get to know. I'm ready to sing like I am. <laughs> I'm ready for a nice glide. Glide? Glass of wine. Glide. I'm ready for a glide. <laughs> and sing my heart out to Craig David. Like, how else better to spend my Easter Sunday, to be completely honest with you? Same P. Louise base, guys. I'm just gonna pop a little bit on the back of my hand. Picking up the product on my Mitchell brush and just this in how gorgeous that color it's like the perfect like baby pink bring it a little bit underneath the eye too kind of round in like a like a c shape i'm really not afraid of my blush so i will kind of layer it on and i'm gonna pop a little bit on the center of my nose as well i may even apply a little bit of my made by mitchell blush in sweet cheeks this is almost like a slightly it's quite similar maybe a touch darker i'm just gonna apply that on the tops of the cheekbones here and just concentrate that there i think today where i'm going like a bit more neutral color with the eyes i can really kind of afford to go a little bit more blushed add that color to the cheeks like that i'm literally looking at myself thinking more <laughs> 
more? Shall I add some more? Thing is, once you powder on top of the skin to set everything, it does dilute color down, especially if you're using uh, like powders with pigments in. For example, one I use like my Fenty foundation powder, obviously that's got pigment to it, right? So it is gonna dilute the color down, but we'll leave this for now and we can always brighten it back up in a bit. Powder number one of potentially three. Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose and Setting Powder in Cherry Blossom Cake. This is gonna go underneath my eyes, on my wet sponge, press that underneath. Where it is pink toned, I kind of just want to use it in the places that I want to keep that sort of like pinky brightness. Thing is today, especially in like the T-zone area, I want to make sure that I'm set because obviously I don't want to be touching my makeup up like a million times. I don't mind a couple, you know, when you're going to touch up your lipstick and things like that, but I don't want to be heavily kind of trying to apply powder, powder, powder. I just want to set it really well now, lock those products in. Do you know what I mean? Just taking my kimchi puff puff pass powder. This is in, I think this is in peach. Yeah. Loose powder just to set the rest of the skin. This is another great face powder, guys. I feel like it really helps to blur the skin, really makes it matte as well. And the thing is guys, this was designed by a beautiful drag queen. And if anybody knows anything about powder, it is those guys. I kind of trust this powder with my life to be completely honest with you. And then we are gonna use my Fenty powder, you know, the Pro Filter uh, foundation powder. I do have the e.l.f. Camo powder foundation here kind of staring at me. And I wanted to see if they were somewhat similar. I use this one, I love this one. I'm obsessed with this one, but maybe i'll throw this one on my tiktok and we can kind of compare the two and see what they're like but for today fancy it is i'm basically just using this to knock off any of the powder that's left on the skin set around the edges here as well you guys know how it is i have a question for my craig david lovers out there what is your favorite craig david song now i'm talking you can only listen to this song one more time what song would you choose See, now, if you're asking me the question, fuck off, I'm not choosing. <laughs> Can't, there's too many good ones. I'm like, oh, would I want like a classic throwback song? I would have want something like new and funky. Hard question, right? I think I've really thrown you in the deep end with that one. Blush whores go in with another blush, even when they can see their blush still. And I make the rules. Guys, this is the Doll Beauty Pretty Fly Blush. I can't say bl blush. Oh my God, am I drunk already? This is in Let's Get Wavy and it looks scary and intense. It is pigmented. You only need to go in with a small amount, but I promise you control the amount. Nice fluffy brush, something small as well. So you can concentrate in the area. Tap in, tap off. I mean, hello, look, you can see the pigment, but we're just gonna gently go over the top. This is just gonna make it pop. Like you see that already? How that small amount has just made that come to life. Get it on the apples. I never used to put it on the apples of my cheeks. I always just prefer it up here. But now, because I like the whole sort of like blushed skin appearance, I like to basically put it everywhere. And like, I'd even put this shit on my vagina. <laughs> I need a drink. Don't worry, this is not an alcoholic beverage yet, guys. This is Tropical Blast from Aldi. Aldi, Aldi. I feel like people take the piss out of how I say it. If I say Aldi, that sounds like the car. That's Aldi, is it not? I don't know. Mm. These are unreal. I don't want grapefruit. They're so good. Again, this is another product. If you saw my last video, I was obsessed with this. I'm gonna use it today. It's the 17 Ultimate Look Finishing Powder. This is in shade 010. Load that on the brush, and I'm just gonna pat it underneath this eye. I'll also use it to pat in the bake now at the sides of the nose. Brightens. I feel like it works even better if you want something really, really bright. It's better to use it to like actually set your concealer. Obviously, I've gone in with the Huda Beauty powder. So technically, this is staying on top of powder. Therefore, you're not going to get as much of an intense experience. Whatever's left on my bronzer brush, I'm just going to pop on my nose. I'm feeling a pink glow today. And whenever I think of pink and glow, I always think of this, which is the Fenty Kilowatt Highlighter. This is the shade What a Brat. I mean, look at that. It's almost like a blush and highlighter in one. So to kind of top this area here, it's beautiful. There is kind of glitter bits in it as well, but I think that looks so cool. Like I said, it's like a topper like this. Like, look at that. It's kind of fun. Definitely gonna pick up my misguided brow you doing brow marker and just pop in any of my little moles that I like to do. I had a spot here, so I'm gonna turn that into one. I think the skin is pretty much done, so I think we can move on to do something kind of groovy with the eyes. Zoomed you in, guys, so you can see a little bit closer. So I think we're gonna start with this e.l.f. palette. I feel like this is just gonna be the perfect tones. This is the I Love You A Latte 
palette. How cute is that? And I'm going to start with this shade here on the end, just like a white matte nude shade. I'm going to use that to set the lids. Now, I think I actually might take a mixture of the cooler toned brown and the warm brown. I'm debating if I want to put this like all over my lid or just on the outer corner. Maybe I'll start with just the outer corner. I can always add but you can't take away. <laughs> I'm gonna kind of wing it back a little bit as well. I want these colors to be really, really soft though. By the way, I'm literally using the same brush for this entire thing. So it's just whacking on a few colors. It's nothing special, but I'm gonna take the darker brown now, just a little bit and kind of almost like wing the shape of it a bit. And I take it halfway on my lid and then just buff it back into the previous colors we used. Dip back in, use them to buff it out. It's just so simple guys. Just throwing on a few colors on the outer corner. I'm literally just gonna take this shade now and re-brighten up the like inner corner part here. And that's literally, I think, all I'm gonna do. To be fair, these are one of my fave looks to do because you just throw on the color. You don't even have to think about it. They're great as well if you don't really know what to do because you can be so carefree. It's not like you have to be really precise and careful. You're really just buffing it out. And like I said, I pretty much did that whole look with just the one brush, apart from the one I used for the lighter color in the inner corner. By the way, I'm really making sure I just put some of that lighter color in the inner corner here. I feel like it helps with my nose contour. Just a little tip of mine if you want your nose to look thinner. Hmm, maybe just a little bit of glitter. Maybe that will spice this up. I'm thinking this one because it looks like it's got kind of pinky reflex in. What is this? It's the glitter pot, the Pick and Glitz glitter pot from Barry M. This is in PG3, I think. Or is it lit? 805? I think I just read out everything on the back there. <laughs> Best way to apply glitter, in my opinion, is to take the NYX Glitter Glue. It's actually a primer, a glitter primer, which I think I like even more than like a glue because it's not as sticky. It sticks everything down. It sets it all in place. It's not going anywhere, but it doesn't have that tacky, gluey, horrible feeling, especially on your eyes. I don't know if you got. Oh, hello. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have used this before, but it is, it kind of feels like an eye primer. Don't get me wrong. I love the matte vibe. But no, we're going to do this. Let's just do it. Let's just make fun, John. You'll go, you're going to see Craig David. You're going to a Craig David concert. Come on, girl. Ooh, it's like a fun, like chunky glitter. See the vibe there, guys, where I've placed it. So I've kept the inner corner free. It's almost like I've brought it in and just done this sort of diagonal going up motion. Just like moving my head around in hopes that you can tell exactly what I'm talking about. Same thing over here. Then what I think I'm gonna do is go back in with that Fenty highlighter that we use in our cheeks and just layer a small amount of this over the top. I don't know if it's gonna pick up on camera, but it just adds like a little like pinky hue. You see what I mean? Can you kind of catch the vibe? It's subtle, but it's there. And I can always use the highlighter to kind of blur it back. Kind of feeling like this outer corner should be a little bit darker. I might take a little bit more of the like, brown just on an angled brush and then just buff it out so it still looks blurred. It's a little bit deeper. Also, it kind of has created a bit more of like a sharp line here, which looks a little bit more dramatic. Drama Llama. So I have a bunch of gems here. These are from Amazon, guys. You can pick up kind of like hacks of gems like this, all different types of colors, but we're gonna use these silver ones at the bottom. I'm gonna start by doing maybe two there. Gems are a process, right? Whenever I do them, I feel like I need to kind of like add a couple, step back, evaluate, <laughs> go back in. That'll do for now. I'm gonna put on lashes and then roll with it. Are they symmetrical? Are they fuck? It's dark. You're not even really gonna be able to see anyway, but now I'm gonna take the Smashbox Always On Gel Eyeliner. This is in Fishnet. It's just like their black gel liner, like a cold pencil, basically. I'm gonna put that straight into my waterline. I'm also gonna use that to tight line. I'm gonna quickly throw on some mascara and lashes, and then we can finish this up. I will see you guys in a sec. All right, part of me wishes I didn't do the smokiness underneath the eye. Do you ever do that? Like you do something, really regret it, but it's like kind of hard to take off. I don't know. Right, I'm gonna do lips and then we'll see. It doesn't look bad. It's just, I was going for something a little bit like softer. Like I was gonna do more of like a softer colors, more like browns, not blacks. So I don't know why I got suddenly makeup happy, but it's fine. First thing I'm gonna start with is my Morphe Sweet Tea Lip Liner. Then for my lipstick, I'm gonna take the 17 matte lip. This is in soft pink. Go like this in the middle. And then go back in with the lip liner. Blend those edges in a little bit. Then for gloss, I'm thinking one of these from NYX. This is the, this is Juice Gloss, the electrolyte infused color. So we've got coconut chill and also strawberry flex. Slightly tinted, which could be quite cute, but then I feel like clear is just safe. And I love the smell of this one. Straight up smells like a pina colada. It smells so good. Maybe we will go in with this. 
I almost forgot. NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk down the center of the nose. I'm gonna go off camera real quick and just dry this hair so you don't have to listen to that. My battery's flashing at me as well, so that's perfect timing. I forgot the setting spray. <laughs> Guys, I played around with the makeup a little bit because it was just bothering me. I felt like it was too much. I felt like it was giving more like festival. In my head, I had a different vision and it just wasn't quite hitting it. So all I did was removed the black waterline and any sort of shadow below there. And I took away the two gems that were underneath here and I stuck them on top in the inner corner instead. I feel like the softer look is way more of what I was thinking. And it's really cute. I went in natural lighting, which I will show you guys um, what it looks like in natural lighting in a sec after we've done my hair. The little bits of glitter catch the light and I'm really glad I did like more on top on less underneath because then it gives like that a moment. Do you know what I mean? I'm thinking hair up guys because I think it's just going to be the easiest thing. Then I'm not fiddling with it. It's out my way and I'm just having a good time. I'm just having a boogie. Now I'm going to plug in my Mark Hill corkscrew though because I think I'm going to curl a couple bits at the front. Find my middle part. Just gonna leave out a couple of little pieces here. I'm gonna gather the rest of this up. One sec, I'm actually just gonna clip these off. Grab one of these flat, like soft bristle brushes. These are the best to like smooth over the hair. Basically just start to get this as smooth and as tight as I can. I'm not too concerned about the underneath pieces. I'll get them in in a sec. The way I'm gonna do those as I'm going around, take some of my Got To Be Glue hairspray. I normally use the yellow one, by the way, not the blue one. That's just the one I have right now. Really kind of use that to sleek it down. I mean, you can see already, right? How much better that's looking. Do you know what? When I first started doing this hairstyle, yeah, my arms used to ache, but I think where I've done it so much now, I just don't feel it. The yellow one is definitely a bit better at holding than this blue one, by the way. So if you can get that one, I would. I do have some grips at the back for extra security in a minute. And sometimes I even use a little bit of my got to be glue, like stuff I use on my brows. Grab a bit, rub it between my fingers. And then I use it to smooth down these hairs at the back. There we go. And you can see, hopefully. <laughs> I like my head side, by the way, like a mini facelift. Basically, if I don't get a headache with this, I'm not happy. <laughs> Squeeze it through, give it a tug. I especially pull like at the sides here because I will pull like these bits at your temple. I can't decide if I want to like curl the bun or keep it like really sleek and just have these bits curly. Or do I keep these straight? Nah, this, nah. For anyone wanting to know how I do my bun with short hair, all I literally do is just twist the hair a little bit then start wrapping it round, and kind of continue to twist as you go. And then the ends like this, like to make sure it's gripped a few times. I like to keep these little spike bits out. If you don't, you can just tuck them in. Guys, if you have any like fluffy flyaway bits like me, like around here, like these bits, I wanna kind of get rid of. This product is fab, it's by Lula Bells. It's the Slick Back Down Baby Hair Styler. It's as simple as just swooping it onto your hair. Any baby hairs like this, I'll just sort of swoop back in so they're neater. See the difference from this side to this side, just like how much sleeker it looks. So good as well, because you can literally take this in your bag if you want to, so you can just keep topping up as and when you feel like you need it. It's not super greasy either. I hate ones that feel really greasy or heavy and just make my hair look gross. This one's nice. Then sometimes if I'm feeling extra, I'll fill in my hairline, like any sort of sparse areas. So I just take a black eyeshadow, literally as simple as grabbing it. Eyeshadow is the best because obviously it blends out really easy. See that? I was just looking a little bit, a little bit thicker, a little bit juicier. I don't do this every time, to be honest. A lot of the time I forget. I'm not like too fast. But if I do remember, it is a nice thing to do. And I have a little bit of time. What even is the time actually? Oh, we've got plenty of time. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Right. Well, okay. Hair and makeup is done. I think next on our list is to go pick an outfit. I have no idea. So I'm really going to need your help. And the audio is going to go shit because we don't have the setup. But that's cool. That's fine. Let's go find something to wear so I don't have to go naked. <laughs> here we are. You can actually see the makeup in natural lighting as well if I go in here. This is the makeup in natural lighting. Do you see what I mean about the glitter on the eye? How the light picks it up? It's actually really cute. Wait, let's put you down. Is that okay? That'll do. The good news is the weather is beaut, so I don't have to worry about that. It's just finding what kind of vibe I want to go for. Like part of me is like, do I do jeans and like a corset with like a blazer? I know I want to be comfy because obviously we're going to be... I want to put something together at the same time. I mean, I do have this cute 
cropped blazer that I got from Pretty Little Thing the other day, which I haven't worn. That's a really cute colour. Could be nice with like a black corset and jeans, black trousers or cool cargoes or something. Maybe this corset, I'd have to put like nipple covers on just in case. But I have this corset from Savage X Fenty. Swear to God, lingerie as like clothing, as like a corset is the best thing ever. Especially when you're trying to go for that like, uh, like jeans and a nice top, like you're trying to make it a little bit sexy. These are the best. That's kind of cute, isn't it? Those colours. <gasps> Right, okay. I'm gonna go put these on and then we can catch a vibe. I think that's gonna be the best thing to do. I have little boxer shorts on anyway, so. Guys, I'm just gonna change the angle so there's less going on in the background. I'm thinking this. Thinking about putting like a black bra on underneath though to kind of layer it up because this is quite like low cut. It's not a bad thing, but maybe it could just add a little something, you know? I feel like that's a bit better. That's a bit more like family friendly. There are probably gonna be some mums and dads here. I don't wanna do the most. <laughs> Blazer should be quite good as well because I feel like I'm gonna get quite hot. So that's like a cute little layering piece. But I'd be crazy to wear white jeans. I mean, we are sitting, but oh, I don't remember the last time I wore white jeans for that precise reason. I love the look of them, but like practicality, you get one mark on them and you're like, oh, game over. But then it's like, I have white jeans, so I wanna wear them. What do we think? I quite like the white jeans, actually. These white jeans are good as well because they don't hang on the floor, so the bottoms aren't gonna get dirty. They're like the perfect length for me. They're from Shein. Should we go get Jake's opinion? A white jeans risky. Oh, no, look, fucking amazing. That outfit's lovely. Maybe we could do these for a trainer. Or we could even do these because these ones have grey in actually. They could be cool. Kind of ties all the colours together. Or we could just do like an Air Force. Even these are cool. Like the greys are like a little bit of green. Wait, they could be the move guys because there's green in this um, Fenty corset. These ones are cool as well because they're lighter. Yeah, maybe these. Right, can we believe that I'm ready with time to spare? <laughs> like what the fuck but this is the final outfit guys the blazer i am actually gonna wear i've just put it over my shoulder so you can see the full outfit but yeah i chose the green shoes in the end got my jacquemus bag let me show you the back of this corset real quick look how cute it is guys wear actual lingerie you can actually like pull it tight in the bag it's like a little like corset lace up i also thought i would bring these sunglasses as well because the weather's beautiful just in case i want to Throw them on. These are from Key. They're cool. They're like a gradient. Um, but yeah, this is the the final outfit. I'm so ready. I feel like all that's left for me to do now is grab a drinky. I think when we get to the train station, that's what we're going to do. Grab a drink, have a drink on the train, and make our way over to the O2, grab some food somewhere probably as well. Ready to have a little boogie with Craig David. I will bring you guys along, yeah, but copyright on YouTube is just such a pain in the ass. Maybe I'll include some clips in at the end, but if not, this is the finished makeup hair and outfit. I love you. Have the best day. Stay cool, guys, okay?